Hi, it's Elaine from Penguin Place Crafts. It's Saturday. Okay, one of those get it done days. It had a fun start, but that comes later. Okay, first, yesterday, Friday, just stayed home all day long. Nope, I did not go to the garage sale. I had my little challenge to myself. The challenge that I put out was that if I made any sale, if I sold a pattern, if somebody bought something ready-made from my Etsy shop, if I made a sale, I would go to the garage sale where they had lots and lots and lots of yarn. It was pretty, pretty done deal, I think, that I wasn't going to get a sale because I haven't had a sale in my Etsy shop since April 18th. But it was like, okay, if, if I do, then I go. I didn't, so I stayed. Okay. Um, I decided I was going to do rotations. I have a proofreading assignment out right now, that I have right now, where I need to do three pages per day. Now, this is puzzle proofing, where I have to solve the puzzle, make sure there are no mistakes. So, okay. I was going to do a puzzle, work on my big project, do a small project. Well, that didn't work because when I sat down for breakfast, I started doing my quota of the puzzles and I did my three pages right away and that was done for the day. So for the rest of the day, I alternated. My big project is a cat in overalls with a mushroom hat. If you follow Cassandra from Craftably Every After or Caroline, for the love of crochet, they are doing this mix and max mix and match challenge where they showed this picture of a cat wearing a mushroom hat with overalls, white cat. And the challenge is to crochet that using pieces from different patterns. Okay, I'm modifying my happy huggy cat pattern to make it. So it was like make a piece of that, do something small. Make a piece of that, do something small. And there were dishes and cleaning the kitchen and laundry tossed in there too. So I got a lot done yesterday. First, the first project I'd shown you earlier, was it Thursday when I was on? How I was making these loopy chickens. Well, first project, let's see how it looks in stripes. So there is a green and gold loopy chicken. And then I went and I finished up a leg for the cat. Okay, I get to work on a quick project again. So next I did, I pulled up some um, ombre yarn from the Blair Stitch Project, the garage sale yarn. I'm working on those little bags of yarn, the little balls. And I made a micro kitty. Look at that. I will have to put the name of the pattern designer up there because this is my first time making it and I don't remember the name of the designer. Okay, that doesn't go with the chickens, but that can go here. Hang out with the cactus. Made another leg for the cat. Actually, I did the arms first. So second arm for the cat. I still had yarn, that, that ombre. So I made another loopy chicken in ombre. And after I finished the chicken, I realized I didn't put the little white things. I had the little white circles sitting there on my chair. And I didn't put them on the chicken. So, before that I made, before I went to make another leg, I had to use up those little white circles. Couldn't couldn't leave them there where they're going to fall off my chair and get lost. So I made. Oops, let me get some lint off here first. I made a brown chicken, brown loopy chicken. I think with this one I was playing yarn chicken, so it's just a little bit shorter than the others. That's also a little ball of yarn from the free 
Like, there were bags that tiny little balls that I got for free at the garage sale. Then I went and made another leg. Let's see. And after that, there was some heavy, stiff, sort of like worsted weight, but I think it had cotton content. I think it was more like rug yarn. So I made myself a coaster. I'm always bringing a beverage in and sitting it next to my chair. I need a coaster. Well, I still had this kind of yarn left, so I made another coaster. This one, you can see that I sort of ran out of yarn in my little center design went wonky when I ran out of yarn. Yay for coasters! Protectors of the furniture! Then, let's see, I started, I did the muzzle for the cat, and Lori from Armchair Chef put up her video introducing doo -doo, Mr. Yarn Challenge 624. Now, due to some glitches with the Postal Service lately and people not getting their yarn, packages getting lost, stuff being delayed, all that, she decided to go a different route for June. So if you've always thought that her Mystery Yarn Challenge was cool, but you didn't want to do it because you really can't afford sending yarn to someone, this month is different. Everybody can do something with this. She listed seven videos of crochet projects and stitches, and then seven videos of knit projects and knit stitches. And if you make items using those stitches or making the project in the tutorial video, you're entered in Mystery Charm Yarn Challenge 624. Getting my posture correct here. So, of course, I had to drop everything and work on a project from Mystery Yarn Challenge 624. Cinnamon Stitches has a video for, a, well, she calls it her little red bird. First she made a chicken, then she made a red one, calling it her little red bird. Well, I had Sunshine Yellow Yarn from my Mystery Yarn Challenge 524, just sitting there calling to me. So I made Cinnamon Stitches Chicken. I don't know. Maybe I'll put her in a bag with an emotional support chicken. Maybe I'll make a nest for her with a few eggs. But, ta da! Made that. Oops. I just knocked something off there. Okay. That was the last thing I finished last night, I think. I did start the head on the cat. This, it goes top down. So I did the head and I left loops open to put on the mushroom hat. And then when I get down to a certain point in the body, I'll change to the blue for the overalls. And let's see, I think I've got about, I think I'm at 25 and I have to go to 50. So I'm about halfway done with the body. Okay, got a bunch of that done. So actually I started this one last night. There was a pattern with a little chick and it was a chick basket. Were you supposed to stuff the head? Okay, let's just show you the whole thing. Stuff the head of the chicken. And they had it where you continued out with the stuffing to fill the bottom of the basket. And then you were supposed to put like Easter candy on top of the stuffing. But I thought, you know, with little kids, they're going to be pulling all the stuffing out and making a mess. So I sewed, I sewed off the part that had the stuffing in it. And I found out that my little air plant from Dollar Tree fits in there nicely and makes, so it makes a little chicky planter. So this is another project from Mystery Yarn Challenge 624 from the knitting category. I'm going to have fun with this because there are three different patterns in the crochet category for stitches that I've never done before. Um, a strawberry stitch, an ice cream stitch, 
into tulip stitch. And I'm thinking I need to get going on some Boggy Creek blankets. So if I made some ice cream squares, then ice cream squares, strawberry squares, tulip squares, I could combine them into a little blanket for Boggy Creek. So I'm, I'm going to have fun with this challenge. Lori, I'm, I'm, I'm going for a prize, Lori. I'm going for one of those, you know, make all of them and get a prize. I'm going for it. And speaking of Lori, the armchair chef and the crochet duel that's going on. Lori had sent me an email at the beginning of the week asking for my cooperation in her taunting. She asked me if I could send Shannon from another yarn, some bulky yarn. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm in. I, I'm going to have fun with this, yes. So I got up this morning and I'm just looking at my phone and just before I went out to the kitchen to make breakfast, I see that Shannon put up a video with the title Drive-By Taunting. Oh yeah, yeah, I've been, I've been track i've been watching the tracking i have been watching like oh did she get it yet oh did she get it yet and i saw the package arrived on friday so i will link that in the description box it was such fun to sit there having my breakfast watching her open the package and her reaction yeah it was fun she i think Lori will agree that i understood the assignment and that it worked well. I'm a little afraid of what, you know, Shannon says, oh, oh, this, this calls for what she said. She goes, I gotta do something. I gotta do something. So look out, Lori. <laughs> look out, Lori. She's, she's gunning for you now. Um, so now I'm going to work for about, I've got about 20 more 25, 20, 25 more rows on the mushroom cat. But today I'm also going to be going back and forth. Um, some time on the cat, some time on little projects. I'm hoping by tomorrow I will have the cat to show you. I've got to leave something to show you in the video tomorrow. I can't just show you everything today. You know, got to have something to talk about. Although you know, the, the, the drive-by taunting, I would love to talk about that some more. That's, that's fun. I Shannon, if you do not, if you have not already subscribed to Shannon's channel at Another Yarn, you need to go do that because Shannon is just so bright and perky and fun. It, it's, it's, it's a great start to my morning to watch her videos and just get some of her energy and all this. So to see her opening the package and see that she really enjoyed it, that, that was fun. Um, and if you were to watch again, the video about the, um, the scrap yarn that I got, the yarn that I got at the garage sale last week, there was one ball that I held up and I said, Oh, this is Shan, this is Shannon's yarn. I did send that to her. So I think she liked that too. Okay. Time's a wasting. I need to go get meat out of the freezer for dinner tonight. I think tonight we may have um, lamb chops and Greek potatoes and Greek salads because we actually have fresh cilantro from the garden. And I know I don't usually put cilantro into Greek salads, but I really, really like cilantro. So any chance I get while it's fresh from the garden, I'm going to make stuff with cilantro. So get meat from the freezer, work on the cat, work on little projects, and just have fun playing with yarn. Ta-da! That's it. Bye-bye.